Yeah. That's dope, though, that you got, like, full 40, you know? My shit, my shit's just, like, annoying, you know what I mean? It's just people annoy me. I don't have the patience all the time. No, nah, I mean, the, the no, it's not even that. Like, I work with good people, you know what I'm saying? And, and I have, like, a good job within the people. But, like, my primary, like, responsibility graphic graphic design but it's really not graphic design it's only like product design you know like we do like I do a website and then I do the products and uh and like I also have to do inventory I have to do building management like I take care of like you know if we need a contractor to come in and open up a wall or something like that uh and then I do IT as well and the you know what I mean? And it's it's a lot to like have to about graphic design and then like someone needs help with their computer or IT or their email's not working so then they're like, Oh, I need help with my email and to me, like these jobs they just seem like jobs that other people don't know how to do and like they're not gonna ever hire someone. So I just feel like I have the job of like four contractors at my job. You know what I mean? Like, they could easily hire a design firm, or they could easily hire an IT guy, or they could easily hire, like, an accountant for inventory, but they don't. They just rely on me. And, uh, catch incoming. yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, it's cool, because it's like, I definitely don't, like, I'm definitely in there. Got some like weirdo motherfuckers at my job, and it's a lot of people to serve on a constant basis, you know. So it just gets it gets hard because, you know, it's just hard to have people in charge when like it's just like, you know, like I'll be doing like helping someone, with like you know the email, and and they'll be like, yeah, but you're not a real IT guy, and it's like, yeah, but I am because I'm actually doing it, and that's the reality of it. You know what I mean? The people at my job, they have this, like, weird thing, and they're like, well, you know, this company's not professional. And it's like, but it is, because it's a real company. So it's just, it's so it's, it's such a mom-and-pops place with a mom-and-pops mentality that the mom-and-pop shit gets old, because you can't use that as an excuse to, like, not want to become a good company. You know what I'm saying? And they're just, they're just whack. They're like, yeah, but you're not a real IT guy. It's like, bitch, I've been doing this IT for, like, four years. Like... What would a real IT guy do? <laughs> like, you, your email works, and you can communicate with other computers. Like, yo, what do you think is going on? So, I'm just kind of tired of being like... Same shit from probably other jobs, but the reality is, is I am doing the fucking jobs. You know what I mean? So, it's the mentality... Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? Yep. Exactly. But, like, you know, I have to, like, uh, I don't have to, but it's, like, uh, you know, just better to be tactful and nice and not, you know, hit him with, like, some, you know, be like Martin Luther King instead of some crazy Malcolm X shit. Like, you know, I don't want to just fucking, like, go crazy on him, you know? Because then it's, like, you don't win that argument either. Like, that guy's a dickhead. Like, man. You know, get the fuck out of here, man. But it's comical. It's comical because for such a, like, good company, you know, in that sense, it's just not digging out, you know? I want to go somewhere where it's, like, the shit, the work means something. You know, it's not just filling some shit and still getting complaints and all sorts of random bullshit. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's like nothing changes to some degree. and It just gets old. Yeah, I'm just fucking punching this shit with a ball in my hand. I like to use the ball as a weapon. It, it doesn't do damage, but if you hold the ball, like, yo, you can punch fast as hell.
and then you're supposed to put the balls, and then you pick up this hand cannon, the scorch cannon thing, and fuck shit up. There's a loot drop over here, dude. I don't know if you picked it up. It's funny because, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can do you have to track the other event? Because I'm already going to the other like public event. Yeah, you're low level. I haven't even like fucking played the game. I did like five missions, and then I was like, basically became obsessed with unlocking the the classes because I was like, eh, I need these classes. Like, I feel bad too because I'm gonna grind this shit out. I don't know if you want to play like any of the PvP shit, <laughs> but I'm definitely grinding this shit out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and then he has like the highest power character. <laughs> he turned the system off. You have the like uh the fucking uh like circle circle movement shit, right? Do you like use that ever? Like in any useful ways? Cuz I haven't really found an amazing use other than getting out of like a pinch. Oh. Uh, yeah, like Yeah. Yeah, you were what a Titan before or what or Yeah, the Titan shit is pretty dope. It's hard to like not use Titan. You know what I mean? Cuz it was so cheap in the first game and it's cheap in this game too. It's just like a very like kid meant like kind of meant character, but it's fucking powerful, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it was funny because, like, in the first game, like, you know, technically all the specials are one hit. That's the whole point of the special. But, like, the Titan gets the hammer for, like, a set amount of time in the first game. And he basically can throw hammers that do one hit. And he can throw, like, 12 or 13, I've seen. Whereas with, like, the Hunter, you get three shots with the Golden Gun. You know what I mean? Or you get like you get you get the bow staff for almost the same amount of time as the hammer, but like you have to run up to them to staff them and you have to swing it. Whereas the hammer, like, you could throw like four from like halfway across the room. You know what I mean? So it's just like funny in that sense. And then like a lot of people like will play Hunter because of the movement. But to be honest, the Titan's not that much slower. And, like, most people, if you're like me, like, most people fucking camp. It's just the way games are, you know what I mean? So it's, like, funny because, like, the Titan is also, like, prevalent 
at a camping because of the armor and the you know just the heaviness. So it's interesting because like to play hunter, you really got to be like in that shit. You know what I mean? You got to be like, yo, I'm gonna run around like a fucking psycho and like doing this crazy shit. And Titans just a more laid back approach with like even better benefits. All active duty personnel catch incoming. Heat signal suggests they're offloading ordnance. And like my dumbass, I looked at the screen and I was like, mm, and I was like, oh, just pick the harder one. Like per se, I, I just can't not do it. I was like, wow, you know, because I looked online like, what's popping with Destiny 2? Like, did they up Hunter? Like, because the last one kind of sucked. And then I, they were like, I basically, from what I've read, it was like, nope, Titan's still like, you know, the easy mode kind of shit or whatever. Oh, that shit just fell on me. Yep, that was fucked up. I should have known though, because it tells you like when it where it's falling. I'm just playing around and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Overpowered. Yeah. 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 But you know what? Like, you know, it just depends. Like, the supers are good. But, like, uh, that shoulder tackle shit was kind of whack. And then, especially compared to, to Hunter's invisibility, like, to me, you know, because I'm a fucking camping asshole, Hunter's cloak is, like, the best, because you can just dis you <laughs> become invisible. Like, what the fuck is better than that, you know? In my opinion. But that's just because of the fucking dickhead player I am. I would just, like, get close to people and go invisible, and then I would attack. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just, like, a total kind of, like, fucked up thing to do. Shit, I'm coming over by you. Damn, yeah, that grenade drop is sick. I'm about to body this dude. It's over. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. What the fuck is the loot for this, uh, enemy? I don't even know where it's at. Maybe there isn't one for this guy? Where are you at? You're up there? Oh yeah, I found that one right before the, uh, Shit started, but I don't see. I guess there's not a loot drop for the, this side or whatever. It's weird. Let me see where I'm at on this shit. 80%. The good thing is, like, when you're on the, like, uh,. Like, see, there's already a public event over on the left, but you can, like, fast travel. That's why the, the grind is real. I haven't even, like, talked to the, uh, lady on this map, you know what I mean?
They don't got no um, deals on VR. I saw they had like a sale, right? It's like a hundred bucks off or something. Yeah. The VR itself, the headset. It Yeah. It got really high ratings, which is kind of surprising to me. Yeah. I haven't seen it, you know what I mean? And uh, what's funny is, like, it got really high ratings, and it supposedly only has one screen on the inside. So, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like a two, two, like, lens kind of thing, you know? I'm about to just fucking chill out. Oh, let's see that. You said you beat this game, right? Yeah. Dang. It's like I want to play it, man, but I don't know. I just don't get into the storyline with all the talking and shit. Like, it's, it's just seems so slow. I think it's like a good game for the merit of the grind, but that's what they do with most games now anyway. Like, there's no focus on story. Not like when we were young, and the graphics weren't there, so the story actually made up for it, like in droves, you know? Fucking, I saw, what was it? I don't know if it was all of the Halo books, or two out of the four, like half of them. Apparently they actually got good book reviews, you know, because they really have nothing to do with the game, like, you know, just being honest. It's just, it's just some, well, I don't know, but I would assume, like, what could you write about Halo? The guy just kills aliens, like, you know, they break it off into some unneeded side story. But I saw, like, two of them were actually, like, pretty acclaimed books. And just, I guess, in terms of, like, you know, the story. What's fucking funny is... Yeah. And what's fucking funny is, like, I watch, like, those... Like, all the Halo movies. Like, they got the one, like, Fall of Reach, and... They have, like, the anime. I don't know if you watch, like, the fucking anime Halo. But they got that shit. And, like... Yeah... And, like, they're fucking garbage. But the one... I don't know what the fuck the last one was called. It was one of those movies where it was so bad, it was fucking good. Like, it, I'm telling you, like, when you talk about, like, uh... You know when, like, companies just buy pre-existing movie templates? You know, like, it just seemed like it had nothing to do with Halo. It was like, like they bought a sci-fi movie and just dubbed it. Like, Halo shit. Because it was about, like, these humans... That, like, they left, like, their, like, Earth, it wasn't even Earth, it was just some planet. And they went to, like, this secret planet. It was basically, like, aliens. You know what I mean? And then they couldn't figure out, like, the symbiote that was killing them all. And then it's like, but it's Halo, and, like, a guy was, like, a master chief, you know, but it had no, like, correlation to the game. So it just, like, fucking felt sad. But the movie was so funny, the acting was so bad, the characters were, like, it just reminded me of, like, Predator, you know? It had, like, one white guy, one Indian guy, one tiny guy, one big guy, one, like, hot girl, you know? One smart dude, and it was just like this, how do they survive this random alien? And, uh, it was fucking a pretty funny, ridiculous movie. Just 
golden gun the fuck out of this guy's exposed neck. Who the fuck? I stay getting fucked up on these things. No regard for my health. Yeah. Dang, I got bodied. Motherfuckers. Got an engram, though. Oh shit, fucking enemy. Oh no. You get that loot. Bam, bam. Archaeology tokens, motherfucker. You know, I need that. Alright, let me check this. I love how I check the percentage after every fight. Like I said, though, this percentage shit is all over the place, man. 84! Like, ugh, it makes no sense. Like, now it's 84. It's not, like, 90. It just, it just fucking goes up, man. I'm telling you, it's so random. It's, like, annoying because I want to grind this shit, but I don't know if it's boring as fuck to you. Like, we could do a mission or something. It doesn't matter to me. Just trying to get that... Are you, like, actually joined in my party, or are we just chat party? Alright, so then let's, let's fucking see what happens if we do this shit real quick. I don't know what's gonna happen. I chose, like, one of those sub-quest joints. Let's see if I can do that, see what happens. I gotta go over here anyway, because you know the next community game or whatever is gonna be over here anyway. Yeah, let's do this shit too. Public event in four minutes. That's long as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My crew says we've got two problems. Wizards on a tower roof doing who knows what, and the fallen they've spooked. Oh. So who do we find? Yeah, but how do you get two walkers? Because we only got one. ...to build an explosive countermeasure to the hive. Sloppy stuff. It'll blow us all sky high. Oh, shit. No. Let me just grab these fuel cells. This game is so gay. It's like, you need to get a fuel cell. It's always an enemy. You just kill him, and you get the damn fuel cell. It's like, collect seven. It's like, what does that mean? It's like, kill seven enemies, dumbass. Like, you know? The other day, they were like, had me grabbing some piece, you know? And I'm like, where is the dude? And the enemy would only pop up, like, randomly every 50 seconds. I'm like, really? I do this 12 times? Grinding ass game. Shit's hot though, because you can kind of like. It says I'm waiting for the public event, but I'm actually collecting these fuel cells. I don't know if you have the same. Yeah, because I can hear them on your shit. Find the hive wizards. Let's go get these wizards, motherfucker. Right, coordinates, hive. If we tweak this and rejigger that, that should work. What should work? So where do I have to go to find these hive wizards? Let's go disrupt some hives. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm following the white arrow. Yeah. I like the, what's it called? The, the houses or whatever. I played one. You know what I mean? And, uh... Yeah, like the, or what was it called the first one? Vault? The vaults? And, uh, those are, like, insane. You know what I mean? But it's just, to me, it was annoying because... You had to have, like, a, a team of people. You know? It's so hard to get a team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough because that shit relies completely on communication. To some degree, you know what I mean? Fuck, man. Yeah, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at right now. This game stays always sending you through like tunnels too. It's kind of a it's so the original Dusty. Damn, I can't even revive you. You probably gotta morph there. Yeah, this map is fucking dumb, man. I hate it too. What the fuck? Return to orbit. You have been returned to orbit. Dang, that's fucked up. Come on, man. That shit just fucked me over like that. Let's see. Uh, I guess you're with me, right? We're both in orbit. Dang, it just kicked me out the game and left you in it? That's fucked up. 